everybody, it's Oops Pa, Kitty, and um, I have the final TNT exotic fruit for us today. Whoa, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It looks a bit like a potato. Yeah. This, my friends, is called a sapodilla, and it has multiple different names depending on. Is it a sin? Is it a crime? Loving you. Dear. Right? Um, it originates from uh, Central America, uh, Mexico, and the Caribbean. And um, it is supposed to be anywhere from um, a golden yellow to an earthy brown on the inside. Although I saw in one video that said if it's uh, like a rich orangey brownish color that means it's really ripe and good um, and it's supposed to taste like uh, now there's different there's different people say different things one website said brown sugar and root beer another website said it tastes like maple sugar and then another person on a video or something said that it tastes like um, uh, caramel so I have no oh and because it's so sweet, it's considered a dessert fruit. So people eat this basically as a dessert. Um, and it's high, high glycemic or something. So if you're a diabetic, you probably should not eat this fruit. <laughs> okay, okay. So how do you tell if it's ripe? When, when I got it, uh, this, is a, this is a fruit that does not ripen until it's, um, until it's harvested. So it can stay on the tree as long as it wants and it's never going to ripen. You actually have to pick it off the tree before it'll ripen. So when I got it, it was really, really, really firm. And um, it, it has to get soft, like an avocado gets soft. So I've been waiting for a whole week for it to get soft. And yesterday it got soft and I thought yesterday would be perfect to eat it and today it's really soft. And so now I'm worried that it's too soft. It has a smell, um, not much, but it does have a, a bit of a fragrance, and it's neither good nor bad. It just kind of smells a bit like a fruit. <laughs> and um, yeah, and so I'm gonna cut her open, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Yeah. Alrighty. Because of the because it's kind of soft, and because of the way the peel is. Um, I'm you're gonna use my whoa <laughs> I'm gonna use my fruit knife this time this knife is actually for cutting fruits and vegetables and I'm going to cut it vertically like this so that uh, I'll have two halves and then I can just scoop out what I the deliciousness with the spoon out of the one half all right so here goes nothing don't sh I you're gonna shake but you can hold on oh oh oh, oh. I'm very afraid oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, now my sapodilla is quite juicy. Whoa. And uh, it's going to drip. All right. Here, my friends, is the inside of the sapodilla. So there's a big seed over there. There's a couple seeds in there, but I'm told not too many. And um, it smells a little bit like brown sugar. Yeah. So, oh, just wait. Oh. There's the outside, there's the inside. Oh, there's a side view. Ooh, see? <laughs> All right, and um, there's a seed, big, big, big seed. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, so um, I can see that this one side seems quite a bit darker than this side, so I'm gonna try that side first. <laughs> Oh yeah, and see, I just I'm just putting my spoon in just like this, and just whoa, just scooping a bit of the deliciousness out, and that's a big piece. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put some of that piece back. Alrighty, alright, let's try a smaller piece. <laughs> alright then. Okay, see this nice small piece. <laughs> okay, alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Sapodilia, how do you taste? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I like it. Um, yeah, it 
to me it definitely tastes like brown sugar and um, it's a little bit grainy like a pear but just a tiny bit grainy uh, otherwise it's very smooth and kind of melts in your mouth and um, it's very 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 rich very rich um, and might taste better if it was chilled maybe I'll chill the other half before I eat it mm. yeah blech, blech, not a favorite sorry folks <laughs> alrighty then so this is sapodilla and it comes from Central America it definitely tastes like brown sugar and it's way too sweet for me and um, yeah and you've seen it here on Oops Paws channel <laughs> but go ahead and try it <laughs> you may love it um, I'll tell you maybe in another video whether it tastes better when it's chilled or not Anyways, that's it, guys. Until my next fruit adventure, which heaven only knows when that's going to be, I'll chit chat with you guys later. Bye. If it's a crime, then I'm guilty. Guilty of loving.